A day late, but never a dollar short. Joey Porter Jr. did have not too long to wait to hear his name in tonight's second round. And as Ryan Risky reports, the reunion we all wanted is the reunion we all got. Joey Porter Jr. is a Steeler. The son of a Steelers all-time great is coming back to the Steel City. When it was on the clock and the, and the time was winding down, I was like, dang, they might not get me. But then I seen that 412 number pop up, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm coming home. After watching his dad in the black and gold, Joey Porter Jr. eyes his own legacy with the Steelers. His dad, Joey Porter, played seven seasons as a linebacker in Pittsburgh and was a part of the team's Super Bowl 40 victory. You can see in this picture here, Jr. was a part of the celebration too. It's going to be my flavor to it. It's, it's me. It's not him. Uh, he understands that it's my time to shine. He did what he had to do, and it's my time right now. And uh, uh, I'm going to get the fans' attention with that, and I'm going to play hard ball. After trading up to 14 to select Broderick Jones, many Steelers fans thought the reunion wouldn't happen. But when Thursday's opening round concluded, there he was, JPJ, sitting still on the board, and the Steelers pounced with the first pick of the second round. Last night I was, I was mad, I had an edge on me, uh, and this is, this is the perfect way to end my day right here. I just forgot all about last night, and shoot, I'm ready, and I got a chip on my shoulder. I'm trying to prove myself. The lengthy corner committed to Penn State out of Wexford High School in Pittsburgh. He finished with 19 passes defended in his career, including a program record of six in the team's season opening win over Purdue. While his hands have been questioned, what defensive coordinator Terrell Austin says nobody can question is his length. That length is, is an issue uh, because he does have a long or, or big radius to be able to get back to a ball that he may look like he's out of position on. And so I think he's got a lot of really good NFL traits. Graded universally as a first round selection, Porter Jr. was expected to be Penn State's first defensive back taken in the first round. And while he fell to the second day, the Nittany Lion remains the program's highest drafted DB. Reporting for your Nittany Nation, I'm Ryan Risky.